Oh, are we on the air? Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Usually when you guys see me shoot draw shots, you see me shoot something that looks like this. Those are fun, but what's more important is the short little draw shot. What do I mean by the short draw shot? If you're familiar with the channel, you have seen this drill probably a dozen times. I call it the semicircle drill. What you're doing is you're moving around the circle, around this little half circle, one ball to the other, without hitting any rails or any other balls, and getting position on the next ball. No contact with other balls, no contact with the rails to get your position. That's funny. Anyhow, you understand how the drill works. Now, when I take guys on for lessons, one of the things they always bring up is the dreaded semicircle drill. Brian, I can't get around that damn semicircle. Well, the reason you can't is because you know how to shoot a draw shot. If I give you this and say, shoot me a draw shot, and you go like that, okay? But if I say, shoot me a draw shot and stop the ball there, then it gets a little bit more frustrating. So what you need to do with this is to develop a draw shot where you can bring the ball back 12, 6, 8, 16, whatever amount of distance is needed to get position on each of these shots where you are on the right hand side of the ball each time and you're able to make the adjustment whether it's going to be six inches or 12 inches so that you can get and stay on that next shot. Now, if you've ever tried to do it, you know it's not easy. I've been doing it since I was a kid, so I'm sorry if I make it look easy, but it is not easy. So today I'm going to show you how to shoot it and I'm going to show you how to execute it and I'm gonna show you how to practice it. So this is how you shoot it. All of the fundamentals that go into the execution of a draw shot, all of the things you've heard me say a dozen times, keeping your cue as level as possible. A light grip on the cue. I'm using a Predator Sport 2 today, which has a rubber grip, which makes it even easier to keep a light grip on the cue and have it feel good in your hand. Level cue, light grip, good bridge, good follow through. Now, the part you need to take out of your game is all that oomph that you put into the shot when you're trying to draw it. The reason you are hitting the draw shots too hard is because you're not hitting them well. The better you hit them, the less energy you can put into the ball and draw the ball at any distance. You can also control your distance a lot more. If I tell you, move that cue ball at two miles an hour, and then I say, now move it at three miles an hour, you can probably make that adjustment. What you need to do is get to the point where your cue is only moving a couple miles an hour to make that draw shot. So you go through your checklist. If I can't shoot a soft draw shot, what am I doing wrong? You may not be following through. You may not be hitting the cue ball as low as you can. You may have too tight a grip on the cue, but you need to go through your checklist and you're going to try to shoot these balls as soft as you can. So as we go around the circle, I want you to forget about position. Forget all about getting position on the four to the five. I just want you to shoot as soft as you can and draw the cue ball back. Just like that. As soft as you can. When you can hit it super soft, and draw it back. Let's say you're drawing it back to this rail. Get down on the shot. How soft can you hit it and still get back to the rail? 
so you ramp it up a little bit, okay? Now, if you noticed, by the way, I say ramp it up, and I hit the ball just as soft on the second shot as I did the first one. What I did was I correct it for just how low I actually hit the ball. So you're going to get accustomed to just get back here, get position on the four. You don't have to work your way around the circle. Just get position on the four. How soft can I hit this? And still draw the cue ball back. Again, I don't want you guys to worry at first about position. Just see how soft you can hit it. When you have the finesse behind your stroke, then you'll be able to short th shoot that short draw shot. And you want to know something funny? The exact same thing you're doing here is what's involved in the long draw shot. Then you get to add the energy to it. But you've learned through muscle memory to keep your body still, to keep your cue as level as possible, to follow through, to hit the ball as low as possible without dipping your shoulder or any of the mechanics that are going to cause you to get under this cue ball and scoop it. The exact same techniques. If you're not drawing it back, go through your checklist. Am I hitting it as low as possible? Am I following through? Now, I like to keep you guys informed on what I'm thinking when I take certain shots or get position on certain shots. With these little draw shots, the thing that I think about during the shot is follow through. That is the one thing that is going to allow me to get that ball back. Yes, I have to hit it low. I naturally hit the ball low. I hit thousands of them low. Got to hit the ball low. I've got to have a light grip. I've got to do a lot of things. But by concentrating on the follow through, it keeps me from over hitting the ball by putting my arm into it too much or dropping my elbow, which is common with me, shooting long draw shots. All of those things I get to eliminate because I'm focusing only on following through. Am I looking for a specific spot when I shoot the draw shot? If I need to get around the semicircle, yes, I have to hit a very specific area. But I'm here. I want to get on the five. I'm not thinking, Brian, you want to get there. I'm thinking follow through. I already dialed in the amount of energy I need to put into this shot. So when I get down on it, I can think about nothing other than the follow through and let the ball just casually drift over there for me. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit us in the comments. Give us a thumbs up. You got a lot of work to do. Thumbs up button, subscribe button, and to type nice video in the comments. That's going to take you all of 15 seconds. Anyway, have a great day. Thank you.